hey guys i hope you guys are doing good today and welcome to the today's video so we are going to talk about something on cloud computing versus edge computing we will talk about what is cloud computing and what is edge computing and use cases of both computing and what's the core difference of these computing so without wasting any time just get into the video you may have plenty of information okay we will talk about something on cloud computing so what is cloud computing cloud computing is a model for delivering on demand computing resources over the internet instead of having to invest in and maintain physical hardware and infrastructure cloud computing allows individuals and organizations to access a shared pool of computing resources such as servers storage and applications that can be rapidly provisioned and scale up or down as needed Cloud computing is typically delivered through a service model such as infra as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, which allows user to access computing resources and services on a pay as you go basis without having to make upfront investment in hardware and software. Cloud computing offers numerous benefits such as increased flexibility, scalability, and cost effectiveness, as well as improved reliability and security and accessibility. Cloud computing has not revolutionized the way individuals and organization access use computing resources and has enabled the development of new technology and application that were previously impossible or impractical. What is edge computing? So edge computing is a model for delivering computing resources and processing power closer to the source of data rather than relying on centralized cloud infrastructure. In edge computing, data is processed and analyzed on device located at the edge of the network, such as IoT device, edge servers, gateways, rather than being sent to a centralized data center for processing. Edge computing has several advantages over cloud computing, including lower latency, increased bandwidth efficiency, improved security, and the ability to process data locally which can be critical for real-time applications such as autonomous vehicle or industrial automations. Edge computing can be used in a wide range of industries and applications such as smart cities, healthcare, manufacturing, retail, and transportations. For example, in healthcare, edge computing can be used to process patient data from wearable devices or medical sensors in real-time, allowing doctor and healthcare providers to make faster and more accurate decisions. Overall, edge computing is becoming an increasingly important part of computing land space. So as it is enable new application and new use case that were previously impractical or impossible with centralized cloud computing model. I have to talk about something on cloud computing use case so it is very important and essential so what are all the use cases so infra as a service company can use uh, infra as a service to provision and manage virtualized computing resources such as server storage networking and without having to invest in physical hardware software as a service SAS uh, allows business to access and use software applications over internet eliminating the need of to install and manage software on local computer. Platform as a services provides developer with platform to build, test, deploy application without having to manage the underlying infrastructure. Data backup and disaster recovery can offer secure and reliable backup and recovery solution to protect critical data and ensure business continuity in the event of disaster. Big data and analytics can be used to store and process large volume of data and enabling organization to gain insight and make data driven decisions. E-commerce can provide scalable and reliable infrastructure for online retailer to host their website and manage transactions. IoT can be used to manage and process data generated by IoT devices, enabling businesses to gain insight and automate process. Gaming can provide necessary computing power and low latency required for online gaming and allowing players to access games from anywhere with the internet connections. Video and media streaming can provide necessary bandwidth and infrastructure to stream video and media content to large audiences. Healthcare, securely store and process sensitive patient data, enabling healthcare provider to deliver a better care and improve the patient's outcome. 
uh, we can talk something about uh, the edge computing use cases uh, autonomous vehicles uh, it can be used to process data from sensors and cameras on autonomous vehicle in real time and enabling faster decision and making more accurate navigation industry industrial automation uh, edge computing can be used to monitor and uh, control machineries and equipment in real time and improving efficiency and reducing downtime retail uh, it can be used to analyze customer data in real time enabling retailers to offer personalized recommendation and improve customer experience healthcare uh, can be used to process patient data from wearable devices and medical sensors in real time enabling faster and more accurate diagnosis and treatment smart cities uh, to monitor and analyze data from sensors and devices in city enabling better management of resources such as traffic water and energy gaming to deliver low latency gaming experience enabling players to enjoy high quality games without the need of expensive hardware energy can used to optimize energy usage in building enabling real time monitoring and control of heating cooling and lighting lightning systems agriculture can used to monitor and analyze data from sensors on crops livestock enabling farmers to make data driven decisions and improve productivity so these are all the use cases on the edge computing it's time to talk about something on the core differences on cloud computing and edge computing uh, first is the definition cloud computing is a model where computing resources such as storage and processing power are accessed over internet from the remote data center on other side edge computing on the model where the computing resources are located closer to the end user typically at the edge of the network latency The cloud computing involves sending a data to a remote data center over the internet which can result in latency or delay in processing. Edge computing reduces latency by processing data closer to the end user which can be especially important for real time applications. Bandwidth. Cloud computing requires a lot of bandwidth to move large amount of data to and from the data center. edge computing reduces the amount of data that needs to be transmitted over the network which can be saved on bandwidth cost scalability cloud computing allows for rapid scaling of resources up and down as needed edge computing is limited by physical resources available at the edge security cloud computing involves storing and processing data in remote location which can raise a security concern Edge computing can offer improved security by keeping sensitive data closer to the end user. Reliability. Cloud computing relies on internet connection to access remote resources which can be affected by network outages and disruption. Edge computing can provide improved reliability by processing data locally even if the network connection is disrupted. Cost Cloud computing can be cost effective for large scale processing but may not be cost effective for small scale processing or for application that requires low latency edge computing can be more cost effective for small scale processing or for application that requires low latency applications the cloud computing is ideal for application that requires significant processing power and storage edge computing is ideal for application that requires low latency such as video streaming or real time monitoring accessibility cloud computing is accessible from anywhere with the internet connection edge computing is accessible within the proximity of edge devices architecture cloud computing relies on centralized architecture edge computing relies on distributed architecture with more processing power at the edge so that's all i have guys i hope you might have enjoyed on today's session we will talk something more about an interesting fact on next video please do subscribe to get even more informative content thank you so much bye bye